Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. If you have just bought a new computer with Windows 11 installed, then you may be in this situation where in order to set up your computer, you will have to set up in the same time a Microsoft account or use your existing account in order to be able to use the new computer. In this video, I'll show to you guys the only and the last method that can be used in order to bypass using a Microsoft account when you set up a new PC. All right, so first of all, I want to say sorry for the display. Actually, I found this is the only way how I can show to you guys how to set up this. And probably in the future, I'm gonna buy a new camera, a better one, but I just wanted to share with you guys this one because it was really annoying for me to set up a new PC without a Microsoft account. One of the methods to use before was not to connect your PC and then you just say that you are having issues with your internet and then you will be able to go to the next step where you don't need to create an account. But unfortunately now Microsoft doesn't allow that. You cannot start the setup of your computer without connecting to the internet. So now after you have connected to the internet, then you will have two options to set up your device. One of the options is to use the computer for personal reasons. And the second method is to use the computer for work or for school. I will show you two methods how you can bypass setup of the computer without using Microsoft account. So here it is. Let's go ahead. I'm going to choose for the beginning the personal use. So I'm just going to say that I'm going to use for personal reason this computer. So now here, normally we have to write the email address that is a Microsoft account but actually what you're gonna need to do here you're just gonna use this abstract email that i'm gonna show to you thank at thank you.com you can try also some kind of other emails but with the domain thank you.com and actually it works i'm gonna show you how to do that so now we just enter the password and then we just press enter i'm just gonna write a random password Regardless, it's just strange email that works. Here it is. Now it will show to you we run in a problem. So we're just going to press next and then it will bypass to the next step where you just have to define a computer name and then you have to set up a password. So practically we managed to bypass the online counter of Microsoft by just using that kind of email thank at thank you.com and the random password regardless what kind of password you set up you just press enter and then you will have to set up a password for a local account good so this was the first method which actually still works but there are some people that are saying that still this method in the latest computers is blocked but if that method doesn't work for you, then you will have another way how to fix this issue. And that way is by using the second option. So you say that you are using your computer for work or for school. So you just choose the second option and then you click over next. Sorry, my computer is in German language because it was bought in Germany. And now here you have to select over login options. So here at this narrow here, you choose different login options and then after that you have to choose domain connection so not the first option which is with a pin or whatever you choose domain connection and then or domain join and then here we are now we can go ahead and set up a computer name and then we press next and we set up a password. So basically we have managed also with this other way to bypass Microsoft account or to bypass the setup of this computer without a Microsoft account by just choosing that I'm going to use this computer for work or for school. And then at login methods or login options, you choose domain join. So basically you just do that and then you will be able to bypass Microsoft account. So basically that's all that you have to do in order to bypass this requirement in order to set up a new computer which has Windows 11 installed on it, which is the latest version of Windows. 
That's all that I want to share with you guys today. I hope you like this video and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.